Greetings and salutations, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about stable coins and how to make them. First off, what is a stable coin and why should you pick it? Well, stable coins are backed by a stable asset or fiat currency, and therefore it can sustain in the ever changing monetary values. There is liquidity supported by assets. Stable coins help businesses raise funds for projects in a secure and stable way. In case the prices increases, the more tokens are minted to control the stability. They are transparent. As stable coins are created using blockchain technology, all the transactions are transparent to all the members of the network. With widespread integration, stable coins are tradable across numerous crypto exchanges and adopted for mainstream purposes like decentralized insurance solutions, derivative contracts, and cross border payments. A stable coin is a cryptocurrency that offers low volatility against the world's major national currencies, unlocking the benefits for decentralized technology. In a nutshell, stable coins can be defined as a cryptocurrency with a fixed price. A reliable stable coin offers a number of use cases other than that of the blockchain. People no more need to worry about the fluctuations in prices of the cryptocurrency daily while buying them. Stability in cryptocurrencies allow people to transact quickly and also enables other crucial financial functions, including credit and loans. Moreover, a stable decentralized currency could become a global currency by allowing trustless and cross-border transactions. It will especially benefit people residing in countries with unstable monetary systems like Argentina. Therefore, stable coins emerge as a new option for investors who want to make transactions via a global currency providing access to all lending. For instance, the introduction of stable coins can also offer decentralized cross-border lending. It overcomes the problems encountered due to high volatile cryptocurrencies, which creates the lending process uncertain because lenders and borrowers cannot plan for the future safely. Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies prove their potential for global crowdfunding campaigns, but many of those projects faced issues as they had to manage financial plans because of volatility in assets. With stable coins, inefficiencies can be removed from the cryptocurrencies by stabilizing its value. Now it's clear. Why do we need stable coins? Well, because volatility can be really, really hard to deal with, and we need some stability in this life, thus stable coins. Now there are four types of stable coins. There's fiat backed stable coins, non-collateralized stable coins, cryptocurrency backed stable coins, and commodity collateralized stable coins. Fiat-backed stablecoins are crypto tokens associated with the value of a specific fiat currency. These tokens hold their value fixed at a one-to-one -one ratio. For example, Tether is a stablecoin, which is pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. Fiat currency is deposited as collateral to ensure the existence of a fiat-backed stablecoin. As a result, it requires a financial custodian and regular auditing to determine that the token always remains collateralized. Now, non-collateralized stablecoins are based on the concept of a seigniorage shares system. Seigniorage is the difference between the value of money and its printing cost. These coins depend on the algorithm, which changes the supply volume to control their price. Using smart contracts, these stable coins are sold if the price falls below the pegged currency. More tokens are supplied to the market if the value rises above the pegged currency. Cryptocurrency backed stable coins work similarly to that of a fiat backed stable coin. However, it locks up cryptocurrency as collateral instead of using fiat currency. For example, Ethereum can be kept as a collateral to create a cryptocurrency backed stable coin. These tokens use a security pledge to compensate for the volatility of cryptocurrency to be used as collateral. It states that the stable coin will not be based one to one ratio for the crypto collateral. 
For instance, if a cryptocurrency backed stablecoin is pegged to the US dollar, it can be something around $2 peg for each $1 coin issue. Commodity collateralized stablecoins are backed by other types of interchangeable assets like real estate and precious metals. Gold is one of the most common commodities to be collateralized. Commodity backed stablecoins hold a tangible asset with some real value. These commodities can appreciate over time, which offers an increased incentive to people to use and keep these coins. Using commodity collateralized stablecoins, anyone can invest in real estate properties or precious metals across the world. Generally, the investment in such assets is only reserved for the wealthy class of investors. However, stablecoins open up investment opportunities for average individuals globally. And of course, there are also hybrid stablecoins. As the name indicates, hybrid stablecoins are the combination of both collateralized and non-collateralized stablecoins. These coins are pegged to a resource, but modeled algorithmically. It is quite confusing to understand. Hybrid stablecoins and even most of the laws put limitations on these projects. Now that we have explained the basics of stablecoins, we shall move on to the next section which is how to create a stable coin. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is you have to identify the type of stable coin that you want to develop. As we've mentioned, there are multiple different kinds, but the two significant categories of stable coin are collateralized and non-collateralized stable coins. Therefore, it is difficult to say one kind of stable coin is superior to another type. If you aim to bring long-term stability, then you should prefer algorithmic stable coins. But if the goal is short-term stability, where the underlying asset is reliable, you should opt for collateralized stablecoins. To identify the type of stablecoins you require, ask yourself these following questions. How much liquidity do I need for my stablecoin? What kind of decentralization independence do I require? How many audits can I afford to increase trust and reduce risk in my stablecoin? How simple or complex do i want the whole architecture to be once you get these answers you will decide the type of stable coin you want to build now the next step that you need to do is you need to identify the platform and technologies required to build your stable coin once you narrow down the type of stable coin you need to develop it is the time to select a platform to create a particular stable coin Initially, Ethereum was the only platform for building stablecoins, but it no longer is the case. There were around 11 stablecoins in the markets in 2016, while 10 more were added in 2017. But today there are more than 70 stablecoins and 140 are currently in development. The majority of these stablecoins were running on Ethereum before 2018. But now we are witnessing new entrance into the blockchain market. Other new platforms coming up to build stablecoins include Tron, EOS, and more. In 2019, we saw a huge number of EOS stablecoin projects such as Carbon, Tether, EUSD, and EOSDT launched on EOS. People preferred building stablecoins on EOS as compared to Ethereum because of the following benefits. It involved greater interoperability and high scalability and transaction bandwidth. With the pros and cons of all the available platforms, you can make an informed decision on the platform you want to work on. Once you select the platform and technologies you want to use for developing stablecoins, you need to move on to the next step where you should consider the maintenance of liquidity. You need to think about the maintenance of liquidity. If the liquidity is lost, the entire concept of building a stable coin might go wasted. We recommend the following steps to ensure utmost liquidity. You have to evaluate inflation and value. It is essential to integrate an automated monitoring system to offer daily currency rates and index rates from the consumer price index and personal consumption expenditures. You have to think about transaction fees, revenues from transaction fees, with some part going to the stablecoin partner while the remaining goes into the liquidity reserve to improve the liquidity. 
Also, you have to protect from high supply. Users who want to redeem or sell their stable coins should be able to do so at current face value minus transaction fees. It removes any incentive for sellers to mark their stable coins at discounted rates on secondary markets. After that, you have to create visual and technical designs of the system. Now, it is time to go ahead and design your required token. Designing a stablecoin means understanding the flow of transactions of a stablecoin and how the entire system will work. Also, in this step, you may need a system design that will help your users interact with your token. For instance, you may require a website or mobile app to enable interaction with a stablecoin. Therefore, this step requires designing screens for web and mobile apps. Our stablecoin experts also provide technical designs for a stablecoin that represents the entire workflow of a stablecoin. Then it comes to development, integration of the blockchain platform, and launching to the mainnet. Once the designs are ready, the next step is to develop the system. In the development stage, you write smart contracts required to interact with a stablecoin and launch nodes on the blockchain platform that you are using. When features of the stablecoin are developed and connected to the blockchain backend, the next step is to launch it on the testnet. If you are developing a stablecoin using the Ethereum platform, you'll find various testnets in the market. Ask different groups of people to check the quality of your developed product on the testnet. Provide feedback for improvement. Fix issues that might have arisen during the testing phase. Once all the issues are fixed, you can launch the stablecoin on the mainnet. Let's understand the process to create a stablecoin in a detailed way with the help of an example. Suppose you need to build a gold-backed stablecoin on the Ethereum platform supported by a verified allocated physical gold holding. The gold-backed token represents the value equivalent to that of one gram of gold. Each gold-backed stablecoin should provide the benefits of physical gold that is liquid, tradable, transferable, and fully backed by verifiable gold holdings. To create a stablecoin, the owner of the stablecoin should have the underlying assets. So, in the case of a gold-backed stablecoin, you should have the gold in the physical form that can be stored at the custodian. Once you submit the gold to the custodian, time-stamped records of the gold serial number, custody events, purchase receipt, and digital signatures of custodian need to be stored on the distributed ledger to create a proof of ownership of the gold asset. Gold-backed tokens can only be minted once the gold assets get submitted to the custodian. As soon as the timestamped records of custody events are recorded on the blockchain, smart contracts get triggered to mint tokens. The minted tokens are added to your organization's holdings and can be issued to the users. To make your token compliant, you can integrate third-party AML KYC APIs to help you onboard reliable and authentic users. To develop the entire stablecoin infrastructure, you will need the front-end and back-end components. Front-end components can be native to iOS, Android apps, or web apps for users. To build the back-end of the app, you will need the blockchain platform. There's one platform, AlphaPoint Blockchain Network, that is used to tokenize, mint, and burn tokens. Now there are some third party integrations that can be integrated into the system, such as a Coinbase wallet or any other third party wallet can be used to enable storing and transferring of stable coins. Then you have a stock exchange API. Any specific stock exchange API can be used to fetch real time gold value from an exchange where you have stored a physical gold assets. Users can access the current value of their assets using the API. Then of course, you have Bank Merchant Account APIs. These can be integrated to enable various payment methods for buying gold-backed tokens. Our team understands what all is required to build a fully compliant 
and tradable stable coin. In conclusion, my friends, the emphasis of cryptocurrencies has always been to create a less volatile, more liquid digital asset. The stable coin is considered the holy grail to the crypto world that can facilitate transactions without friction, not only between stakeholders transacting with cryptocurrencies, but also between parties that may need to shuttle between crypto and fiat. We hope that this video has helped you understand a little bit more on how to create a stable coin. Our team of stablecoin developers can also be an asset to you throughout the development process from ideation to designing a token and developing it. So until next time, this was an insight from Leeway Hertz.